Okay, one of the things that you might want to do on your TI Inspire CAS is a polynomial long division. And you can do it, but it's not totally obvious how. So in this video, I'm going to show you how. So first thing I'm going to do is I'm going to put in a calculator page. So polynomial long division, the problems usually start looking something like, let's say, let's say this. So when I press enter, the calculator doesn't actually do what you might think it'll do, which is maybe divide. Instead, it's just going to return what you type. So you have to know what to press. So if you go into menu, and then option three is algebra, and then option three here is expand, which doesn't seem like uh, you're doing division, but the calculator will interpret it that way. So I want to actually expand this. So I'm going to put a box around it, hit enter, and then when I hit enter now, it's actually going to do the division. It'll give me what I would have gotten if I did this problem by hand. Um, so there you can see it. Um, so that's fine, but sometimes you'll do a problem on the calculator and the answer ends up a little different from what you're expecting. So let's look at one of those. So I've got x cubed plus 4x squared minus 2x plus 1 over x squared plus 2x minus 3. So if I hit enter here, it's just going to return that and that's not all that useful. So instead, I'm going to press menu 3 and then three, so that's menu, algebra, expand, and go up and get this, and press enter, and this doesn't give me what I would have gotten by hand. Um, the calculator did something called partial fraction decomposition, and what I wanna do now is take this remainder that doesn't look like what I would have gotten by hand, turned into what I would have gotten. So the way I can do that is to go back to the algebra menu, so it's menu and three, and then what I want now is in fraction tool, so menu three, nine, and then option four is common denominator. So I'm gonna go up, get the remainder right here, and now when I press enter, it combines those, um, gets the common denominator, and that's what I would've gotten by hand if I had done this problem. So the answer I would've gotten by hand would've looked like x plus two plus this. And if I wanted to, I could just check my answer by typing in and actually getting a common denominator. So I could do menu three, option nine, and then option four, and then take this, and it goes back to the original. So that's another way you can check your answer, but I'm more interested in just getting the answer straight away by using the calculator. So I'll do one more where I just get the answer straight away. So the next one I'm gonna do is nine x cubed minus six x squared minus 20 x minus four all over 3x squared minus 4x minus 4. So when I press enter, nothing happens. But what I want to do is menu, 3, and then expand. So you got to remember that expand really means divide in this context. And get this, press enter. It doesn't look like what I would have gotten by hand. I would have gotten the 3x plus 2, but not this other stuff. That's the uh, decomposition. So what I'm going to do now is menu, 3, option nine for fraction tools, and then option four for common denominator. Go up, I'm gonna hold shift as I arrow through this, and as soon as the box is around it, I can press enter, it'll paste it down, and press enter, and there you go. So that's what I would have gotten as my remainder if I had done it by hand. So overall, I would have had three X plus two plus this thing. And then if I had typed this in and I wanted to check it, I would do menu three, um, option nine is fraction and common denominator. So it's really all about common denominators and um, expanding. So if I do this, I'm just gonna type answer, um, which is control and then the, the minus sign uh, or the negative sign if you wanted to. There, I'm back to the original. So that's how you can do polynomial long division on your TI Inspire CAS. I hope you found this helpful and good luck.